Earlier in the course, we had some rules about how powers of the same base interact with one another. And we used those rules in order to figure out how powers that are not whole numbers ought to work. Let's take a moment and review those exponent rules and the behavior of exponents that are not whole numbers. We had a rule describing what happens if we have two powers of the same base and we multiply them. We called this the product of powers rule. For any real number b and numbers m and n, we have b to the m times b to the n is b to the m plus n. Remember we understood this as this first exponent represents m copies of the number b. The second one represents n, and therefore when we multiply them together, we have m plus n copies. So far this works whenever m and n are integers, as long as b is not zero. In order to make that work for all of the integers, and not just the positive whole numbers, we needed any number to the zeroth power is one, except zero to the zero is undefined. And for any b not zero, b to the negative m is the reciprocal of b to the m. There are a couple of other ways we can phrase that. We can say the reciprocal of b to the negative m is b to the m or if we explicitly have a fraction, p over q to the negative m is q over p to the m. We also had a rule about dividing powers of the same base that I'm mostly mentioning here for completeness. We didn't really need that one in order to develop any of our definitions. Nonetheless, we had it. If we have two different powers of the same base and we divide them, we subtract the exponents. And again, we ruled out b being zero because we can't have a zero in the denominator. We used this primarily when we were doing arithmetic in scientific notation. Those two rules, the product of powers, and quotient of powers are the two exponent rules we have so far. And so far, we know how to understand integer powers, either positive or negative.